Hi, I'm Phil Bridges, owner of Straight Arrow Repair. Ever want to know how a repairman fixes things? Well, come with me and I'll show you how I solve problems. Let's make things better together. I have uh, several videos on putting a house type uh, door in a mobile home. Uh, mobile homes, when you go to order and get a mobile home uh, door, you it's a little different than a than a house type. So you have lots of choices on the windows. You can get a rectangular window. You can have no window. You can have a diamond shaped window. Uh, you can have a full type window and still have this flange that it goes into. So you need to know first of all, not the jam width, but the width of the door. But you can take measurements for all of it. 32. Uh, by 80. Which is pretty big. Uh, on a house type door, you, the way you determine if it's a right or a left hand is you put your back to the hinge. If it swings to the left, it's a left hand. If it swings to the right, it's a right hand. Put your back to the hinge, right hand, left hand. On a mobile home, you look at it, and I believe it's this is your right hand hinge, even though it's a left hand door. So take a picture of it so you know. Make sure you order where the hinge is supposed to be on the picture or when you go to look at it. Because this is not, if you're ordering it, this is not, I don't believe in a mobile home, considered a left-hand door, even though it is by a house type, the hinge is on the right. So take a picture of it and then order it that way. And I guess you can see that you can put a, a dog door. cat door, dog door to to two of these just as well. So uh, uh, whenever I install one of these, I'll let you guys see how I do it. And uh, this has been leaking because they've been trying to shoot caulk up in there multiple times. And that's probably because up in here, they took the gutter off, the, which is not really it doesn't really function as a gutter. That gutter up here that runs down there and it's constantly, it's a little bitty thing. You're like, why would they ever make a gutter of that size? Because, first of all, they're saving money, but mostly what that gutter is doing is holding that roof on. That roof, if you take that gutter off, take all the screws that are about that far apart, they have like three staples holding that roof on temporarily. So, if you take that gutter off, it's going to leak behind the, the siding, and the problem is going to be up there, not right here on your door. So keep that in mind. See you guys. This is Phil Bridges. If you like what you saw and think it might be helpful to somebody else, push that like button and let other people know what you and I now know. And we'll work together toward making a brighter future. And by the way, we're not Americans. We're Americans. See you next time.